Alright guys, what is up? It's Jake here. I'm back with episode 3 of... It, what is it? What is up everyone? Jake here. We're back with episode 3 of Eat Big, Train Big, Get Big which is exactly what I've been doing. So the first episode covered weeks one to three, the second episode covered weeks uh, four and five, and the third episode I was meaning to bring out a lot earlier than this, but I haven't um, due, to, due to basically the fact that I've been slack. I've been slack, um, I've been slack on my, tracking my diet. Um, I haven't kept up my training log. Um, everything just turned to shit basically. And it's all because I, I haven't worked out that life, um, life and let sorry work and life balance, because I've just been working fucking every single day. I've just worked seven days in a row. In fact, today is my first day off in a while, and it's it, it couldn't have come at a better time because I've got a massive fucking pile of washing. I've got this video to make. Ah, uh, I've got some meal prep to do, which I haven't been doing. So my because I haven't been doing meal prep, because I've been, doing, been getting too tired from work, I've been coming home, having cereal for, for dinner, having McDonald's for dinner, having stupid things for dinner, still trying to keep, keep to the low fat, high protein, high carb macros, but um, certainly not, not what they were on the first five weeks. So right now, um, I'm probably sitting at about 97 kgs. So I think I was around 94 last episode, so it's still going up probably a kg a week. But this time, I don't actually have um, my macros and my diet in front of me to look at to realize why I'm getting these results. So what I really need to start doing today is to start logging my, uh, my diet again. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm also gonna take you guys to the gym to do a chest workout, chest and shoulders. Um, chest and shoulders and triceps, uh, three muscle groups that I'm really, really looking at bringing up, as well as back, as well as biceps, as well as legs, so everything really, but certainly uh, push workout is one that I love doing at the moment, and I'm just progressively trying to get stronger, so either way, I'm going to go inside now, um, I uh, ordered some sups from Massive Joe's on Thursday, and it's Monday now, so I'm expecting them to turn up today, so that will be good, because I've got no more pre-workout, no more protein, no more amino energy, no more nothing, my whole fucking life has turned to shit. <laughs> no, it hasn't really. But um, one thing I do have is glycoject. So I've been having that intra workout. It tastes really good, I'm loving it. And amino energy has been my pre-workout of choice. Um, but that's empty so hopefully we're gonna get more of that and I also ordered some more protein powder um, as you can see, well MTS way is my favorite but recently I've been using this Aussie body shit um, not the same not the same so uh, ordered some protein and some aminos as well and um, yeah should be good so either way I'm gonna get ready for the day as I said, it's finally a day off and I'm fucking stoked and uh, we're gonna make most of it. So I'll get ready and I'll see you in the car when I'm about to go to the gym. All right, so I don't wanna to waste too much time before I go to the gym. I'm gonna smash a pretty decent pre-workout meal. So we've got some 97% fat-free muesli with 150 calories, four protein, one fat, 30 carbs. And I'm gonna have probably three serves of that, which is about 125 grams so that's that there and we're gonna have some milk light milk coconut milk almond milk normal milk fuck doesn't really matter this stuff's pretty good because it's it's relatively low in fat so we got eight eight protein three fat and 12 carb so I'll have probably two serves of that as well so that will be a good pre-workout meal, probably about a thousand calories, um, or maybe about 800, and uh, should give me a good, 
boost energy for the gym. Oh, fuck, I hate hanging out washing. Alright, so all the jobs are done. I've had breakfast. I still don't have my sups, so I think I'm just gonna go. Actually. <laughs> Look. I actually got real excited. I thought it was my fucking package and it's not. <laughs> Alright guys, you know it's hot in Central Australia when you have to drive with one finger because the steering wheel is so freaking hot, man. It's ridiculous. It's got to be over 40 degrees. I just had to go and pick something up for my sister, so now I'm off to the gym. And I'm going to hit that chest and dealt workout I, uh, I did front I did um, standing overhead shoulder press two days ago uh, I got five by five uh, with 60 kgs which is actually a PB so I'll just be looking to move up from there um, obviously with, with this weight gain you want to at least make some strength gains or else it's just all to waste isn't it so uh, that felt good, but basically what that means is that I'm not going to do any front presses today. I'm going to just do a uh, bench press of some sort and some flies for chest. And then I'm going to do side and rear delts um, for shoulders. Rear delts I have been pretty consistent with, which I'm happy with. I uh, can't say the same about calves. Uh, <coughs> which really sucks, but fuck it, I'm doing it to myself. Oh, I can't even hold this. Bloody steering wheel. Fuck me. Anyways, I uh, still didn't get the subs. Come on, Massive Joes. So, uh, off to train. Off to train now. I don't know what that looks like. Probably like shit. But, anyways, we'll see you in the gym. Was the V. Full strength. And it is so hot here today. I'm so fucking thirsty. So what I'm gonna do, I've got 1.5 litre of uh, water. <sighs> Drink some of that. And then, <sighs> got the trusty funnel that I got from my competitors pack at the WBFF Australia 2015 show so thanks for that and I'm gonna put two scoops of glycoject it's actually just about run out that's two scoops which is fit another 50 grams of carbs so we've got I had the muesli this morning which was probably like 100 grams of carbs this has got 53 grams then we've got another 50 so that's 200 grams of carbs in the system probably about 30 grams of protein so not much at all but we're only in the first part of the day anyway so that's where I really um, amp up the calories is in the night time after work or after my workout um, I tend to get really hungry after a workout so works out well for me and now, I can't find the bloody lid to this. Oh, there it is. So, um, and I just thought I'd run you through my training splits. I'm trying to hit each muscle group twice a week. So, the most efficient way I've found to do that is to hit a push, pull, legs type of split. So that's, you split your workouts up into three. That's push, pull, legs. Um, what I was finding is that my fucking workouts were going way, way, way too long. So um, I tended to like hit the chest and chest and shoulders portion of the workout and then it gets to triceps and I'm like, oh fuck that, you know, I've already been here an hour and a half. Fuck this, I'm going home. So I was skipping parts of the workout, but now um, I've got a little bit, little bit better. Um, training with training partners makes it so much easier. You can just keep going and going, I've found. So, um, you know, you just keep having a good time talking, laughing, and it's good. It's like the old pumping iron days, me. 
But at the end of the day, if I want to keep hitting each muscle group twice a week without burning myself out, I can't work. I can't work out seven days a week. I am burning myself out um, with the sickness and all the shit. So um, push pull legs rest, push pull legs rest, push pull legs rest means that each fortnight, hopefully, I'll be hitting each muscle group at least three times a fortnight. So yeah. And I guess if I really want to start trying to build, build like bring up a muscle group, um, I'll start hitting it more than three times a fortnight, maybe four or five times a fortnight. And I will have the ability to do that because I'll have the, the rest days available. And if I want to work out twice, twice a day, which I haven't done for a fucking ages, um, then I can do that too. Anyway, let's go into the gym. Gonna go kill it. Start off with some decline press and see how we go. So, catch there. All right, what is up, everybody? So as I said in the video, we started with the decline press and unfortunately, I actually felt really, really weak today. So, I, uh, I, I was planning on putting 100 kgs on and seeing if I could get maybe three, three or four. Um, but I'm, <coughs> I actually struggled with 80 kgs. I just didn't feel, didn't feel strong. It's one of those days. We all have them. So I did four sets of eight with 80 kilograms, which is not a huge amount, I know. But um, hey, that's just what happens sometimes. And then after that, I went to go do some, um, I didn't really feel like I'd you know, gotten all I wanted out of the exercise. So I went and did some decline dumbbell press as well, which I hardly ever do. I pretty much just did it for the camera, but um, it felt pretty good. So I still, moderate weight, 32 kgs. Um, and I did three sets of eight, nice and slow, controlling the weight up and down. So following that, uh, I was going to do some, some incline press, but I decided against it. I thought I'd put some more effort into the fly movement. So I did probably nine or 10 sets of flies all up. Um, there was some standing, some on my knees, as you'll see, um, and the, the, the cables were put at the mid range and at the bottom. So I was concentrating on the mid chest and the upper chest when the movement's coming from the bottom up to the top so uh, some of it's pictured you'll see you'll see some um, on the knees and you'll also see some standing and then following this we went and did some side delts um, I did a super set that I've been doing recently that is you grab the dumbbells and you, you lean yourself up against an inclined bench um, facing it facing towards it so you got your chest down on the bench and then you'll do uh, 12, no, sorry, 10 reps with whatever weight you want to do, side side raises, and then you, you jump off and you adjust the uh, the seat to go down a couple of notches, jump back on it, do another 10 reps, and then you do that again. So it's three sets of 10 reps for each set, and I did three sets of that, which you'll see. Following that, we did some more side raises on the cable, which you won't see, and then I went and did some rear delts using both the dumbbells and the cable like I did with the side delts. So enjoy guys, here is a track uh, from the Eden Project called Chasing Ghosts. Um, it's non-copyrighted as per usual. So you are free to listen to it without any copyright claims. Ghost.
Alright guys, so I just got home from the gym. Um, as always, couldn't help but stop by the supermarket. In fact, I actually needed to. So, <clears throat> some classic carb sources for me. Um, call it for 50 macros or what have you, but these are pretty much the carb sources I've been surviving on. So, first of all, I, I said I... There haven't been, hasn't been too much like pasta, potatoes or rice. Sweet potatoes, yams and stuff, so-called healthy um, complex carbs. It's more so bread sort of stuff like muffins, um, bagels, you know, loads of bread, uh, English muffins, things like that. So <laughs> our cereals. So I don't know. Um, the sugar content is obviously higher, but fuck it. Maybe I'm addicted to sugar. Anyway, on the way home, we bought some crunchy nut clusters. Um, so the carb sources I go for, they may be high in sugar, but they're, they're low in fat at the same time. So I'm pretty much taking if it fits macros to the extreme at the moment. Um, next time I try and cut down for a show or something, I definitely won't be having all these sugary things. I'll be eating um, good wholesome filling foods like uh, sweet potato and like rice and things like that. Um, but right now when I'm trying to put on size and I'm having a bit of fun with my diet, uh, there's no there's no way I'm going to stick to those foods. So basically, here are some foods that I that I sort of live off at the moment. Um, I make muffins. I make sure they're 97% fat free. So we've got some chocolate chip ones here. I'll make those up later. Um, we've got Nutri-Grain. Love me some Nutri-Grain. Oats. I eat a hell of a lot of these. They are a staple in my diet, whether it's prepping or whether it's off-season, I guess you could call it. Um, English muffins, once again, really low in fat, and uh, that's about it for there. And I bought some protein on the way home. Um, one thing I will recommend is kangaroo, guys. Living in Central Australia, there's a few round, and I don't know if it's cheaper here than elsewhere, but kangaroo sausages and kangaroo uh, meat patties and kangaroo steaks are... Um, all quite cheap around here so I go with the sausages or the meat patties um, the steaks I don't like to be honest they taste like shit and they're really really hard to cook properly so I've got kangaroo we've got chicken breast a couple of kgs and I also got some pork uh, pork medallions which are in the freezer and I can't be fucked getting them out so um, post workout I've already had a bowl of Nutri-Grain and I've also had a bowl of cornflakes so we're probably sitting at around about 300 grams of carbs um, I had a shake so that's 50 grams of carbs uh, 50 grams of protein with I had it with milk so fuck what are we about 100 grams of protein 320 grams of carbs and a few grams of fat maybe 30 40 so I've got quite a bit of macros left to go at the moment I'm trying to hit about 550, 600 grams of carbs, trying to keep fat under 100 grams a day, and I'm trying to hit 220 to 250 grams of protein a day. So, those are my macros. Um, definitely feeling softer. It's a, it's a daily struggle trying to convince myself to keep, keep bulking when it's 40 degrees here every single day. All I want to do is sip on water. I really don't want to drink, like, eat heaps. That's why, that's sort of why I'm sticking to these. Um, probably cold sources of carbs rather than like hot rice or hot pasta or potatoes or something because um, it's just really hard to eat in this heat so um, who knows next week I may change my mind but at the moment I'm continuing to bulk uh, enjoying it enjoying all the food I can eat but I'm, I'm definitely sort of getting sick of it um, sick of you know once, you, once you're in a calorie surplus, you're always thinking about trying to be in a calorie surplus. So three hours go by and you get worried because you're 
you know, you're behind on your calories. So that, it's controlling my life again. Um, it controlled my life when I was in a, in a calorie deficit because that's all you think about. But now that I'm in a surplus and I really want results, um, it's, it's consuming my life once again. So we may have to uh, rein it in a little bit. But those are just some thoughts. I'm gonna leave you guys now. This is what we're waiting for. The sups. So let's see what we got. Free shaker. Need one of those. I've got some amino energy. <clears throat> Usually I'll get it in grape or watermelon, but I thought I'd go green apple because that's what I've been craving lately, so I'm sure it will be good. Ah, oh, that's right, yeah. So I got some amino acids, plus beta alanine, plus citrulline malate. Core ABC by uh, Doug Miller. And uh, very well advertised by Massive Joe's. I've managed to get my hands on some of this, so I went with watermelon. And watermelon's one of my favorite flavors, so let's hope that that really does uh, come up to standard because the ingredients certainly do. But let's see what the taste does. And then I just got good old uh, MTS Way. Went with red velvet cake, which I haven't had before. I've had a couple of scoops from a mate of mine, but I haven't had a whole tub and it tasted delicious. So, I mean, you really can't go wrong, guys. We've got delicious, delicious, delicious. You know, which one do I have first? That's the question. I probably have a couple of scoops of this and then I'll make up a shaker full of ice with some of this and some of this combined, I think. So that would be beautiful and this is where I check out guys so I hope you guys have a good week it's Monday here in Alice Springs Australia it's uh, three o'clock in the afternoon <sighs> so I'm gonna edit this video up and hopefully I'll have it up by tonight so you guys can all see how I'm doing sorry about the physique update in fact no in fact right now we'll go and do that we'll go and do that right now let's see how I'm looking the uh, the battery ran out before so, let's see what we're looking like here. This might be a bit scary. You take me away from home Show me all the places I've never known I will chase Night. Race all of these broken dreams in flight And we'll fly pick up my dignity oh, oh my god that concrete is so motherfucking hot oh, so that's how I'm looking so I'm gonna make a protein shake 
eat some cereal, cook up some chicken, and have a relaxing rest of my day. Work on this video here, and um, keep keep on the gain train. Keep on the gain train. Keep making gains. I'm into my new house in four days. Four days. I cannot wait. I've been I've been waiting months and months and months and months. So let's hope that lifts my mood and uh, keeps me keeps me motivated to keep making gains, just like all you guys. So thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for the support. If you did like the video, um, make sure you give this video the thumbs up, um, or you could better yet subscribe. Um, or if you want to check out some some uh, body fat percentage videos, if you've ever ever wondered what uh, what 12, 10, or 8 percent body fat look like, I've got those videos um, from my last contest prep made up into videos, so you guys can see them, and so I can keep track of what I actually look like. Because I'm looking fucking soft right now. So if you do want to go back and look look at what I look like at eight percent body fat, which was about um, two and a half months ago now, then uh, feel free to go and check that out. Anyways, guys, thank you once again for watching. Little old me in Alice Springs, trying to make some gains. Thanks for support. Means a lot. I'll see you guys in the next one.